I'm going to read a poem of mine called Proclamation, which is included in my recent collection, Troubles. At the early part of the last century, there were many proclamations or political statements issued. The two we're most familiar with here in Ireland are the 1916 Proclamation and Ulster's Solemn League and Covenant of 1912. I've combined elements of the 1916 Proclamation, the Ulster Solemn League and Covenant, Doyle Aaron's Declaration of Independence 1919, the Democratic Programme of the First Doyle 1919, the Anglo-Irish Treaty of 1921, and the Constitution of the Irish Free State 1922, to make a composite proclamation which covers everything. Proclamation. In the name of God and of the dead generations, we, humbly relying on the God whom our fathers, in days of stress and trial, confidently trusted, do hereby pledge ourselves to stand by one another in defending for ourselves and our children our cherished position of equal citizenship in order to promote the common weal, to re-establish justice, to provide for future defence, to ensure peace at home and goodwill with all nations, and to constitute a national polity based upon the people's will with equal right and equal opportunity for every citizen. And we declare the right of the people of Ireland to the ownership of Ireland and to the unfettered control of Irish destinies to be sovereign. And we pledge our lives and the lives of our comrades in arms to the cause of its freedom, of its welfare. And we desire our country to be ruled in accordance with the principles of liberty, equality, and justice for all, which alone can secure permanence of government in the willing adhesion of the people, with a parliament having powers to make laws for the peace, order and good government of Ireland, and an executive responsible to that parliament. And I do solemnly swear true faith and allegiance to the constitution of the Irish Free State, as by law established. Thank you.